Now you have three minutes to the distinguished gentleman from Tennessee, the ranking Democrat on the Constitution Subcommittee, Mr. Cohen. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you. Appreciate the time. This a moment in time and this previously respected and hallowed hall is being diminished in the same manner in which the White House has recently been diminished. President Trump recently had a meeting and he referred to the Roosevelt Room where he had a meeting with cabinet members or other senators as the studio. The studio, as if this is all theater. Theater of the absurd. Now the president has a history in entertainment and he may be trying to get a lifetime Oscar for the most farcical display or appearance of an executive since Governor Lepetamane of Mel Brooks fame. But this House should not follow in those footsteps and make this Congress a studio for a show being presented for the right to life people who are marching on this anniversary of Roe v. Wade. This bill violates regular order, which we were supposed to be implementing. There was no hearing in the subcommittee. There was no hearing in the committee. There have been no amendments allowed. This is irregular. This is not regular order. This is a theater, a show put on, produced by Trent Franks, who left this house under disgrace and continued by this Republican administration while this government possibly could go into shutdown. Yet we are t acting like this is not the situation. We have a bill that will go nowhere in the Senate, is unnecessary, violates the principles of federalism because most of the principles herein are reserved to the states and are unnecessary and be an impediment to a woman's health in many cases making the members of Congress doctors and superimposing their magical medical knowledge over that of physicians who are attending the pregnant woman and the child. It's already against the law to murder a child and if the child is born it is a child and to not use the duty of care that a doctor has would be murder and that's state law but it's already the law and required to be taken immediately to a hospital could endanger the ch child. It should be a decision by the doctor. This is the theater of the absurd. We should not be in this house making it into a studio like President Trump has made the White House into a studio. We should be going through regular order and considering bills that have a chance to protect the American people and women. I yield back the balance of my time.